fine so we are talking about uh, xml reports and uh, bi publisher reports next couple of sessions uh, oracle applications is a product uh, which is built by using oracle and d2k forms as front end and oef pages as front end and what about the back end like oracle database oracle database is the back end and then we have the reports dtk reports we used to have then uh, xml publisher and then we got a bi publisher dtk reports we have right from 1997 right from 1997 uh, report builder we are using like uh, data model layout model this all we are going to use it right that we are going to use it. in 2008 xml publisher as uh, introduced by arc xml templates and then followed by we got bi publisher bi templates also which is advanced for xml templates so last 5 6 years no client is using the report builder they are using only xml templates and uh, bi templates but there are some old reports reports uh, old means rdf files rdf files are nothing but a dtk reports report definition file so those are uh, sometimes we have to customize but not at all required nowadays uh, we will say that completely xml and bi publish so why the xml has come into the picture what is oracle xml publisher is a template based publishing solution delivered with oracle ebs xml publisher is a integrated integration with oracle ebs it is a part of oracle apps it is a part of oracle applications it provides a new approach to reports design and publishing e business at run time you can generate the output and uh, you can build the custom templates nothing but a new templates you can generate output in pdf html rtf excel or even text also eft electronic fund transfer and adi transactions this all can be done uh, why we need xml publisher is let's say there is a requirement uh, for example if you don't have xml and you are using oracle reports and uh, your layout also designed in oracle reports how will you design the reports uh, here generally will open the report builder and parameters will define and will go to data model and design the layout this is what happening now one user want the same report uh, in spanish then another user uh, user two wants the same reports in uh, chart format not in the same chart format they want uh, one user wants to the same report output in excel it means uh, they would like to have the different formats data is same query is same select statement and logic formulas are same but uh, layout uh, should be in different language different format this and user 4 want the same report output to be published on internet or intranet user 5 wants the same report output uh, eliminating few columns and adding few other columns okay so these all are the new requirements like if the five users want five different then if you don't have xml publisher only in the reports five reports you have to develop if 20 members are required 20 reports same report 20 different rdf files but now now it is telling a new rdf needs to be created for each requirement five requirements you got so you have to define five reports for each requirement you have to create a new report it stated above or an existing rdf needs to be modified 
with huge amount of effort. You have to put a lot of effort and modify it. But whereas the XML publisher, it can be done very easily. Okay. So how this will work, we'll see. XML publisher separate reports data, layout and translation. XML publisher separate. Separate is nothing but divide. But DTK reports are not like that. In the report itself, your data model is here. Data model means your select statements and your calculations. <coughs> your layout also here. <coughs> and your language also here only. All three are combined in the same file. That's why if there is any small change in the language, then again one more report. If there is some change required in the format, I want in some other PDF or Excel, another report. You need to define separate reports. Whereas in XML, what you are trying to do is you are separating the data, nothing but your uh, query and you are separating the layout. Layout will be there in separate file and translation components are in another file. So three things are in three different files. Your query is there in one file, your data. Layout is there in some other place and translation is there. So three manageable pieces at designing time. At runtime, all these three pieces are brought back together to the XML publisher. And again, you will combine all these three in this. You write your data model here that is separate, save it. You write your layout model, save it. You define your translation. Translation means multi-language. So that save it. You are going to combine all these three in XML publisher in the runtime in the runtime. So at the time of designing time, you are going to take this component as separate. But at runtime, all the three pieces are brought back together by XML publisher. An XML publisher you are going to bring and generate the final format and translations output PDF or whatever you want. Okay. If there are any changes in the layout, we just need to add or modify the layout. No need to go for entire report and all this. So that's the advantage of XML publisher. XML publisher, same thing you will see in the BI publisher also. BI publisher has got some more features. We'll discuss that next level. Now we are in the XML publisher. Okay. So that's why we required the XML publisher. So your data logic is separate. Layout is separate and translation is separate and XML publisher is going to use all these three components in the runtime and it will combine and generate your report out. Now this is what data logic definition data extracted from the database. How will you extract the data from database? You have to write a select statement. You have to write a formula. You have to write some trigger. This is what data extraction. Okay and converted into XML strings. Once you extract the data, that will be extracted into the XML format. You'll get output. You'll get an output. What is meant by layout? The layout template to be used for the final output are stored and managed in the template manage. It's nothing but a designing. Whatever data you have selected that is there in XML format, XML codes, XML nodes are there, XML format. XML format doesn't require for the client. Client required only data. They don't want some other XML formats, tags and all. They just need the output. Means they just need the only data. So that's why you are going to design a layout. Translation is nothing but it is handled to manage the translation that is required in the runtime. Means language, multi-language it will be configured. Okay. So if at all you want to install the XML publisher in your system, or in Oracle application. Oracle applications will be taken care by the DBA that we don't need to do it. Okay. So in your system, you have to install it in your, how will you come to know in your system XML publisher is installed or not? For example, if I open this MS Word, MS Word document, now I can see here only view menu. After view menu, I don't have any menus, but, uh, if I go to my VMware here and try to open the MS Word document. Now I can see something called template builder. 
if this is available then xml publisher or bi publisher is installed in your local machine okay so how to install that i have mentioned here you have to go to this website and select your product pack and select your platform there you have to select your oracle xml publisher release 5.6.2 media something and download that into the desktop edition and then uh, it will ask you microsoft windows and go for download this when you download the xml publisher desktop edition you will get a zip file set up and desktop installed still then you have to go for install components then uh, it will ask you the screens like this finish after installation the word add-ons is attached to the menu bar in the word document this menu let you attach the xml data source this is template builder there will be a sometimes here add-ons add-ons will be there and template builder data insert preview tools like this we will see this is how uh, it happens installation so how will you find that if you have here template builder then it is installed otherwise not installed you have to download and do it this okay. so now we will do uh, the xml publisher by using the rdf first rdf and rtf combination nothing but a report dot rdf and dot rtf rdf means ddk report where you will write a data logic. Just now we are talking about, right? Three things in XML publisher. Data logic is nothing but your RDF file, your query. Layout is nothing but your RTF template. RTF is nothing but your word template. And then translation is multi-language. This is just simple option you have to select. Multi-language option in XML. Now we want to go for uh, XML publisher, simple report. I'm just developing one report, select user id username creation date from fnd underscore user where user id between p underscore from p underscore to order by username descending order I have not created parameters directly. I have used the parameters in the query. Then automatically system create the query. Q1 has created the bind parameters automatically. No problem. Let's create this. Now go to object navigator. I can see the parameters here automatically created. If at all you want to change the data type, you are supposed to change manually. Otherwise default, it takes character. Default, it takes character data. Okay, so now the report is done. Data model we complete. We are not going to design a layout here. That's what XML concept. Data logic is separate. Now this is a data logic. This is a data logic. Okay. Now save this report. I'm going to save this report in the local machine. And uh, which format it will be saved RDF report definition user underscore XML underscore 750. Once you develop this uh, data logic, then you need to generate a XML file. File administration 
generate file and XML. It means you are generating the output. Your query is going to be executed and you are passing the input also. And query will fetch the data from database. But your output will be in XML format, not in PDF, not in HTML. It will be with the XML codes. Save. Now it's going to ask you the parameters from user ID and to user ID. I'm passing something 1500 to 5000 as input. And this parameter values are uh, replaced in the query. Now if I go to XML folder, I can see I got a output. Now your query work is done. Your data model is completed. You got already output. You can see this. This is what your XML output. It's going to be very simple. This is your user ID. This is your username and the date first record. Then user ID, username, date, second record like this. There may be one lakh records also. We'll see that. And you want to minimize this. This all we call it as a nodes. This is your parent node, right? And this is going to be your child nodes. Okay, these are going to be child nodes. But I cannot give this file to my client. He cannot understand the XML and all this. Okay, so you are supposed to extract only data, this data, remaining codes I don't need. That's a reason you are going to build a template. XML template, what it will do? It will take this file as an input, XML file as an input. Your report work is done. It's already completed. That file work has completed successfully. You got output also, but it is there in XML format. Now we have to convert from XML to PDF or XML to Excel or XML to some HTML, whatever format you required. Okay. So that's called layout. That's called layout. So now this we have done, completed. Data logic is nothing but this. This is data logic. Here is your logic. Here is your select statement. Here is your queries. Here is your formula. So that has generated the output. Now I wanted to go for this layout. So where do you define the layouts? So go to MS Office. Here I'm going to design a layout. Right. Okay. Uh, generally in reports, uh, if at all we want to design a reports uh, report layout, what we'll do? We'll take first frame. Right. Uh, same year also frame is not mandatory, but generally we'll take the table. How many columns, three columns and two rows. First is a heading user ID. Second is heading username and creation date. Same thing you do it in reports also, right? Uh, you will take a frame and you will try to use the headings here like this. The same I have done here also. Okay, so you want to write any header, you can write here. Okay, so now we'll go for in reports, what we'll do, we'll take the repeating frame. One repeating frame is nothing but one query. Here one query. Here we don't have repeating frame. We have the for loop. What is the concept of repeating frame? Repeating frame, it will work multiple times. Repeatedly, how many times? Depends on your query result. 10 records are result, then 10 times. Same thing here for loop also. Okay. So now you will go for insert a field in XML publisher. If you want to write any logic or you want to display, you must go for a field. Select insert field. Now it is showing that error message. Please load data source first. Where is your data source? Okay. Even if you don't have data source, we can define not a problem. Data source is nothing but your XML file. 
where is your data here is my data right so how can i load it insert data load xml data c drive 750 folder xml user xml data loaded successfully now i need just a field just to take one field enough we'll design manually we'll design the report manually yes double click on the field this is beginning of the for loop Generally in PLSQL, if you write a cursor, cursor is nothing but a select statement. If you want to fetch the records from the cursor, you have to open a for loop and get record by record. Same thing we are going to do now. To begin, add help text. This we call it as a XML codes. Between this, you are going to write for hyphen each colon where is your query in case of reports this name is there right g underscore user id that we will give in the repeating frame in the repeating frame you are going to give that as a source same thing here also you have to mention that name you have to mention that name what is the name g underscore user underscore id that you have to specify that you can see one property is there in the data model xml tag and name generally both will be same whatever name is there same name will be xml tag okay so these all are xml settings this name we are supposed to use but both are same right that's why we have taken it next once you start the loop then you can display these columns how will you display the columns that also same field that also field copy paste double click this i would like to display the user id add help text what is the code you have to write and within the xml codes you have to give this column name what is the column name this this name not required this is xml tag that's like this if there are hundred columns also you have to go in this way only Now we have to close the loop, right? We started the loop here for loop and we said this is what my group, nothing but my query. And we said these are the columns are required. Then we have to go for copy paste. Copy the field and double click end. And uh, in add help text before for loop also we have to mention that. This is a simple layout. In case of reports, what we will do is we will use the repeating frame. We will use the repeating frame and we'll go for take the field and then we will go to the source and we will select user. ID. Same thing I'm doing here also. But here what I have done, I have used the for loop, beginning of the for loop and then take the field. In every field I given the column name, user ID then username this then creation date and finally close the for loop before the for loop i just give an end and space that's all that's your layout is done save this uh, layout but layout must be saved in rtf format rich text format your layout must be saved in the rtf format user underscore xml user underscore xml 754 something 
this. So we developed a report first, then we have executed the report already and we got the output in XML. Now what your XML template will do, it will take the XML as an input data source because your data is here. Actually your data is there in the database. We retrieved from database and generated XML. Now I have to take from XML and in RTF I am translating into PDF or Excel something. Data make sure that is loaded. Already we have loaded the data. Now we will see the output here. You want to output PDF or HTML or RTF. Let's say PDF. Yes, this is the output. What happened? When I try to open the output, it's not showing. Preview PDF. Got output, right? Fine. So I don't want these border lines here. Let's say select your table, right click, borders and shading. Complete MS Word features we can utilize here. Header, footer, and whatever you are having in MS Word that can be used. I'm going to say I don't want uh, this. Save it and go to preview and PDF. You can see this. Here. I required some company header here. So I would like to have heading. Insert format options, whatever we required that can be inserted. One set header and footer. Any uploading the logos, this all is possible. Header means every page you will be getting it is. Okay, fine. This is one simple. Let me go for same exercise. One more example will take it. So this time we'll take uh, suppliers data. Right now we have seen uh, users data, user ID, user name and uh, creation date. Now we'll go for suppliers. First to open report builder. Build report manually.
supplier id supplier name and uh, date and uh, go to user parameter configure number uh, data type max 10 digits this then it is number data type maximum 10 digits save this we are going to save it as an rdf it is supplier xml Now we are working here, supplier report. Once your report is ready, let's generate the output in XML format. That's going to ask you the input parameters because we have defined parameters from vendor ID and to vendor ID. Let me do it from 20,000 is the input and output is 35,000. Run this, now we'll see the output. Output is generated in XML format. Now this is vendor ID, vendor name and the date. Like this we have the data. Like this we have the data. Now we have to design the template. Open MS Word. And you would like to have any title we can define. Oracle EBS supplier report something. You want to change it to the font can be changed. There's all adjustments you can do according to your requirement. Okay. And table also is not mandatory. Directly you can go for it, but it's designing point of view will be very easy. That's the reason we are taking. Otherwise, it's not at all required. Straight away, we can use the fields. And our name it is, right? And our name it is fine. So here headings will mention first vendor ID, vendor name and uh, creation date. Three fields we have and we wanted to have the field, insert field. Saying that the data source is not there, let me load uh, data source. Otherwise you can copy from some other uh, template so just field is required. Double click on the field and say this is beginning of my for loop. Add help text. XML codes for iPhone age. What is your group name? Means your query name. Go to data model. This is your query name, right? This. Once query is started, then uh, copy this all here. And right, first field. First field is vendor ID. Add help text. Column name. Whatever column name you have that you have to mention. Generally, same name will be there. XML tag. Copy. First. Same thing, second column. Supplier name, add help text. And uh, end of this. That's it. 
now we have saved we are going to save this in rtf format you must save this in rtf format rich text format supplier xml 754 save now data is already loaded now we wanted to uh, see the output in pdf let's say a table is there right click borders and uh, shading we said we don't want any or you want any box type of border you can select and uh, you want to have some thick color border something can be selected yes this is all uh, it's up to the client uh, designing part this you can is border shadings go to table properties there is a check box important in the interviews they ask you when i am getting the output in pdf i am getting the headings only in first page in second page i don't have the headings i want in second page also repeat you want to repeat in the second page go to table table properties repeat go to the tab called uh, row tab repeat as header row at top of each page this check box we have to enable it save now what happen we can see this uh, preview put in in pdf now first page we are getting second page we are not getting go to table properties now it's not working Okay, I'll tell you that tomorrow. Let me see that later. Okay, fine. So this is uh, how we can develop one simple XML report and execute. But here, this is as a developer. What we have done, we developed a report. and then we designed the layout and i am loading the data and then i am going to see the output but what client will say client will not do like this right client means end user end user will log into oracle applications and he will try to he will go to the responsibility and submit the program so what you have to do you have to register this report as concurrent program and also you have to register this template also two files we have to register we know how to register report 
what is the report registration process report registration steps we have to upload the report from local mission to server will create a executable concurrent program request group responsibility this all we are doing. that is as usual but only one change is at the time of creating the concurrent program you will select the output as xml you might have selected pdf html instead of that xml will select so that what happened when you run your program your output will be generated xml format right now manually i have done it manually i have executed the report and generated the xml file but when user run your program it will automatically generate the output image. so that is one uh, file registration how to do the report so you have to register the report with two parameters this then how will you register the template two steps are required if you want to register a template it's very simple you need a permission to xml publisher administrator xml publisher administrator is required if you don't have you cannot register you cannot register the xml template how will you get the permission go to system administrator security user define you have to search your username search your username and then attach the responsibility xml publisher administrator so if you want to register the reports system administrator is enough if you want to register the template you require a xml publisher administrator so both the files should be uploaded into the server and it has to be registered okay. so in xml publisher how will you register how many steps are required in case of uh, reports what we will do first we will go for executable then we will go for concurrent program then we will go for request group then you are going to the responsibility then you are going to the user same process only one change is at the time of creating concurrent program here you have to change the xml so that when you run this program you will get output but output will be in which format xml format nothing but this job this job here you have done manually right you have executed the report manually you got output in xml okay then you have to register a template how will you register the template method name is same reports yes because you are using the report right that is when you want to go for a template xml template registration you have to go to xml publisher home oh, only two steps data definition and template you have to open the data definition and then you have to go to the template only two steps required for registration of xml publisher it's telling that uh, xml publisher administrator is not a valid responsibility okay you need to do some basic setups here okay, let me log in with another user core services how if there is a, some problem so you have to remove that cache framework
don't have XML. Go to XML Publisher Administrator. Two steps, data definition and templates. This. You have to define first a data definition, then you have to define the template. So when you want to register the report, you have to follow this process. When you want to register the template, then you have to follow these two steps, data definition. Then how will you link these two? How will you link the report and uh, this? Here what we are doing manually, you are loading the data. When you run from Oracle applications, how it will pick that data file? That's why you have to link these two files by using the concurrent program short name. While creating the concurrent program, it's one of the important question in the interviews. <clears throat> how will you link the RDF and RTF file? So we are going to provide <coughs> this concurrent program uh, short name, short name and application short. These two names you are going to take and you are going to provide in the XML publisher administrator while creating the data definition. It will ask you the code code is nothing but concurrent program short name and application nothing but concurrent program application that is the link between your <coughs> rdf file and as well as the rtf okay fine now we'll complete the rdf first rdf is very simple we everybody knows it go to system administrator first you have to upload the rdf file into server right so i am working with now supplier Supplier RDF, where is this? Here. Copy. How will you upload into server? D drive. Oracle. Vision instance. Apps. Go to custom top. Apple top. And we are considering PO is our 12.0.0 reports US. Take the RDF file name. What is the first step we have to do? We have to go for a concurrent program executable short name purchase method reports same. <laughs> then go to concurrent program XML report. It is, this is as usual, no change. Only change is we will choose XML output, and uh, this is two parameters we require from user id sorry from vendor id right 10 number from vendor id p underscore from is the token to vendor id <coughs> token is uh, p underscore two parameters then attach concurrent program to request group already we have one group attached to this but here what we have to remember is we have to remember concurrent program short name and application name this two because while registering the template, while registering this template, it will ask us. Okay, fine. So now what we will do is go to XML Publisher Administrator, Home, two steps, data definitions, select data definitions, create data definition. You can give any name, data definition name can be given any name, no problem. Here, nest data definition and application name and code. Application name is purchasing. Data template is nothing but your data file, data source file. Select purchasing and what about the code? This concurrent program short name. 
apply template is nothing but your rtf file right this rtf file so this file uh, you are going to say template and assign your data definition right now i am what i am doing manually when i do it manually i am loading it so now i don't need to load because i am going to assign it go to the template where is your xml file here is there right so now i am creating a template here is there let's say ibm template and the code is again same concurrent program short name and application again same purchasing application and data definition uh, what is that what name we are given okay ness is it ness dd and output file which format do you want pdf generally we used to select here right this that option you are getting here pdf uh, you have any sub templates no and uh, what about your template template file so my template file is there in uh, 754 upload it xml where is your some template rtf this which language you want output that's what your translation and territory united states apply so now we have created the xml template two steps are required initially it looks like a lengthy process now template has created successfully so whenever you run this concurrent program from srs window immediately it will pick up this template that is the link between your concurrent program this is nothing but a concurrent program right okay concurrent program and this is the template you have selected now close this window let me go for uh, submit from which responsibility 754 you don't have you don't have the access to 754 go to system administrator query username what is your username operations i want to give the permission to operations user 754 responsibility now go to 754 srs wind now when i select the program and pass the parameters here hello ha etla mari ha okay phone yesam illes ha velle seenam So now when I sorry, there is layout here. This is your uh, RDF means your data logic. This is your uh, layout. And do you want to submit report? No. now you will get a probe so here you are what we have done now as per our logic report rdf file is here rtf file is here and language is selecting dynamically and these three you are combining in the xml publish so whatever output we have seen here same output you will see but client cannot open ms word file and all this is source file client job is always he will just log in select responsibility and go to srs window and submit the request client means end user data entry operator whoever is working he will just log in and do this process so it may take some time don't worry so just go through it tomorrow also we'll do the same process tomorrow also we will go for registration if we do three four reports then it will be flexible for you. okay so when we are doing next level tomorrow right now we used the report builder 
tomorrow we'll see sql script and pl sql program okay so we discussed that client is not using the reports then we will generate uh, with the pl sql also by using pl sql also you can build the data definitions that we'll see tomorrow so tomorrow we'll see how to do one more report in xml same rdf and rtf combination then we'll go with pl sql and rtf combination Yes, you got warning message. Now I'll tell you why we'll get this warning message. There is some problem in your uh, server. So you have to run one more program. Go to system administrator. In the real time not required. Okay. So go to your request group. What is your request group? This. And uh, there is a program called XML report publisher xml report publisher what this program will do it will generate your uh, output in pdf format from existing xml output okay so we have to run this program again generally in the not in the real time not required so the moment when you run this our program you will see the output directly but here there is a server issue so let me run this what this program will do it will take your uh, previous program and uh, template ibm template language output to which format do you want pdf your program is already generated output but that is in xml format i want to convert this xml format into the pdf file that's why I have submitted one more program called this XML report publish. But generally not required. If you run this report directly, you will see output. You don't need to run this report. Program is completed. We can see the output. That is as well. okay fine so this is uh, the simple report tomorrow also we'll see the same process we'll register rdf file as well as rtf both files. Uh, this video file will be uploaded into the youtube it will be youtube uploaded directly you have to subscribe to rtl online training because we are trying to uh, transfer to everyone. It's difficult for us to share through email ID. So we'll put it as a public in RTL online training. You can directly download from youtube.com or you can go through it. Right. And uh, for Fusion applications, people who are working in Fusion applications, they can also use the same BI publisher but here RDF is all not there. Directly we'll go to Navigator. Seems application is not working. We'll go to Navigator. Uh, there is option reports and uh, analytics. Where is this? You don't have reports and analytics option. Refresh. Here it should come. Okay. And log out. XML and BI publisher is common anywhere, whether you do it in our labs or in any other. But here it is BI publisher. XML is only for Oracle applications we'll be using. 
Yes, here we'll go to reports and analytics. This is not for you guys. It is here. It is a catalog. Now it will ask you to develop a new report. Select new report. Then it will ask you the RTF file. RTF file is nothing but uh, this. Upload your RTF file. Yes. Same thing we have done in Oracle Lab. Same thing we'll be doing it in a Fusion. So. Anyway, we'll see tomorrow other uh, options again in the applications.